Hey guys, uh, setting up this new Phoenix right here, IXP, to basically be ready to go down moving water or big open water so that you have flotation in the event of a capsize. So here's what we have, come on in. And there's kind of variations on this, but I like to order my aluminum trim with the eyelets. So now we can do the cross pattern with um, line. So it's gonna look like a shoestring right there. And then what you do need, I believe, is something here and something back there so that we can also run a strap lengthwise, just a cam strap. And then also to have, I like the daisy chain here from North Star because then I can run lines down from these eyelets, which really kind of captures the bag. Up front, I have a vinyl bag from North Star. This is their 60 inch. That works nice up front. It'll probably come to actually right about here. And then as we move to the back, you can choose to use a daisy chain again, which is my personal preference right there. But if you want to kind of go simple, you can do that. I've had people even cut up daisy chains in half right here. You gotta be kind of along the seam line and then you can separate them. And again, then you'd have your lashing. We're gonna use a 48 inch bag in the back and that's gonna pretty much come up to about here, which gives some room for the feet still, about like that. And we're gonna open it up and lay it out. And then you need the loop up front. Since this boat's really gonna be kind of a class two, you know, light class one, class two, I'll probably put my little web ring right there. Or if you're really concerned, you want it really structural, you can put it down in here. The way we're gonna put those in is with weld wood, outdoor contact cement. There's other people that, you know, swear by G-Flex. Um, uh, North Star basically just uses weld wood outdoor cement. And the key here is surface prep. So I'll lay this out and probably just take a little Sharpie marker and just make a square. And then I'm gonna take that off and you know, use maybe 600 grit wet dry sandpaper and rough up this area. And then use rubbing alcohol to clean that area up. You gotta be a little more careful of rubbing the, up this because you don't wanna pull the threads, but maybe I would even just rough this surface up a little bit. Once we get a warm enough day, you know, above 60, I'm going to put weld wood, just using a little paintbrush over that square that I had outlined, and then I'll put it on this. And I'm gonna let them sit there. And you want them to basically just get tacky. Uh, what I mean by that is that you could like do that. It's not gonna be like all over your face. <laughs> you know, basically it's not sticking to you. It's kind of real gummy um, versus liquid. Because if you put them together before that, you're gonna generate a lot of heat. Not as big a deal on a composite boat, but on a Royal X boat, you can definitely melt the substrate. So. Once we do that, we let it really, you know, go a little extra longer. If it's warm, you can even hit it with like a hair dryer just to, or if it's cool out, you can hit it with a hair dryer to kind of speed that process up. And then we're gonna put them in together like this and we're gonna put weight on top of it. I happen to have trucker chains. I'll just throw like a couple bags of trucker chains on it and just leave it in a warm environment for a couple days. And that's pretty much it.